now we will discuss about the regulations with varying the input voltage so in the last lab experiment we have seen that the gnr diode acts as acts as a voltage regulator in the reverse bias so we have the two regulations one is a line regulation and one more is a load regulation okay so now today we will discuss about the regulation with varying the input voltage this is called as a line regulation in this regulation this is the regulation diagram this gnr diode we are connecting in the reverse bias because uh, gnr diode acts as a voltage regulator in the reverse bias only this is the supply voltage and this is the 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is the fixed resistor 470 ohms and this is the voltmeter used to measure the load voltage here input voltage is a variable and the load resistance is fixed one okay we will keep the 470 ohm resistor constant only and we will vary the input voltage so here input voltage via supply voltage is variable but the load resistance rs or a load resistance is constant here okay load resistance is constant okay we will connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram gnr diode so gnr diode cathode is connected to 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to uh, gnr diode cathode so i am connecting here if it is connected means we will connect vertically next gnr diode anode is connected to ground gnr diode anode is connected to ground next this is the rps rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal okay 1 kilo ohm first terminal next to rps negative here rps negative rps negative is connected to ground rps negative is connected to ground if you see the diagram if you see the diagram here rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal that's why i am connecting rps positive to 1 kilo ohm first terminal next here rps negative is connected to ground so here rps negative this is rps negative rps negative is connected to ground next if you see the circuit diagram next we will connect the 470 ohm resistor so instead of taking the 470 ohm resistor here we are taking the drb this is this is called as a drb decade resistance box by using this decade resistance box we can take the different resistor values we can vary the resistors by using this drb okay now this is a dr drb first terminal and it is a drb second terminal so for this i am taking the 470 ohms so there are different knobs here okay 1 2 3 4 4 into 100 400 plus it is 70 we required 70 okay it is 7 into 10 470 total 400 plus 10 into 7 70 4 into 100 400 400 plus 70 total 470 ohm resistor so here 470 if you see the diagram in the diagram 470 ohm first terminal is connected to this junction point and this 470 ohm second terminal is connected to ground okay this 470 ohm first terminal is connected to this junction point okay next 470 ohm second terminal is connected to ground this is the ground terminal okay next we will connect if you see the circuit diagram the circuit diagram next we will connect the lo load voltage okay load voltmeter is used to connect the load voltage this is called as a voltmeter okay this voltmeter positive terminal is connected to junction common point now i am connecting the voltmeter positive to this common point okay next we will if you see the circuit diagram in the circuit diagram voltmeter negative is connected to ground voltmeter negative is connected to ground so this is the total circuit diagram so see here in the if you see the uh, circuit diagram in the circuit diagram resistor second terminal and this gnr diode cathode and the 470 ohms first terminal and the this voltmeter first terminal all are connected to this common point so it is a junction point so if it if you see here one two three four terminals here it is one it is one two three four four terminals are connected vertically in junction point because this this is a common point for this all the terminals next if you can if you see the ground terminal rps negative and this gnr diode anode 
and the 470 ohm second terminal and this voltmeter negative all are connected to ground here 1 2 3 4 terminals are connected to ground and these four terminals are connected to junction point next rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal 1 kilo ohm first terminal and this rps negative is connected to ground rps negative is connected sorry rps negative is connected to ground so this is a total circuit uh, diagram we connected on the breadboard so in this the first one is here uh, connected to ground here the first one is here uh, this voltmeter positive to here we will connect to this common point voltmeter positive is connected to this common point here and voltmeter negative is connected to ground okay in the junction total four terminals and the ground total four terminals okay so the experiment procedure is first we will switch on all the uh, equipment here the voltmeter and the rps we will switch on the supply and after that slowly vary the input voltage by taking the drv is a constant okay by, by taking the uh, by taking the old uh, by taking the uh, drv is a constant value that is 470 ohms and we will vary the uh, rps value okay we will vary the rps continuously and we will note down the all the voltmeter values okay by keeping the drv is a constant this this regulation is called as land regulation okay now we will slowly we will increase the voltage here okay now i am increasing the voltage here okay i am increasing the voltage so increase the voltage to 1 volt so here i am increasing the voltage okay i am varying the voltage the voltage value is 1 okay voltmeter is showing the 1 volt okay now i am increase the old uh, rps value continuously up to 2 volts here it is showing the 2 volts and next i am increase the old rps value up to 3 volts in the voltmeter so it is showing the 3 volts here okay next again i am increasing the rps value up to 4 volts again i will increase the this rps value up to certain voltage it is showing the 4.8 volts okay now again if you increase the rps continuously see here i mean i am increasing the rps continuously but there is no change in the voltmeter voltmeter is showing the constant value okay here if you here it is 23 suppose if you take the 20 volts here it is supply voltage is 20 volts but this voltmeter is the load voltage is showing 4.9 only again i am increasing the this supply voltage to 22 volts but here it is constant 4.9 only here if you take the if you increase the voltage from 22 to 23 24 25 26 27 but there is no change in the old this voltage value here voltage value is constant so from this we can say that in the line regulation if you increase the supply voltage is continuously okay by keeping the load resistance is constant that 470 ohms is the constant but if you increase the supply voltage is continuously after certain voltage that 4.8 volts or 4.9 volts the voltage is constant if you increase the, the supply voltage continuously so this regulation is called as a line regulation so if you see the values so like this we will get okay so we are increasing the supply voltage we are getting the one volts and again we are increasing the supply voltage here we, we are getting the load voltage is two up to 4.8 the load voltage is increasing if you increase the supply voltage but after this 4.8 or 4.9 volts okay some of uh, some of you get 4.8 or some of you get 4.9 at 4.8 exactly or 4.9 if you increase the supply voltage continuously but there is no change in the load voltage load voltage is constant okay if you increase the supply voltage continuously and by keep by keeping the load resistance constant the load voltage is constant okay this is about the uh, line regulation now let's see the load regulation so this is the load regulation diagram now we will discuss about the load regulation here so in the line regulation we have increased the supply voltage continuously by keeping the load resistance but in this case it is called as a load regulation regulation with varying the load resistance here in this regulation we will keep voltage supply voltage is constant and we will vary the 
load resistance continuously we will get the output voltage is constant or not that we will see it is a load voltage okay we will measure by using this voltmeter the connections are as it is okay uh, same as the line regulation only but here the input voltage if you take the input voltage here we take the input voltage we will take one voltage constant okay voltmeter is constant here voltmeter is constant uh, this voltmeter is constant okay uh, 12 volts we will take the voltmeter is uh, 12 volts voltmeter by taking the 12 volts constant and we will vary the load resistance continuously first i am taking the 1 kilo ohm this load resistance value i am taking 1 kilo ohm okay here if you take the load resistance is 1 kilo ohm here there is no change okay now if you take the 2 kilo ohm wait a minute so we have to insert the wires properly then we will not get the value okay here first i am taking 1 kilo ohm here if we take 1 kilo ohm i am, I am getting 4.5 volts here okay 4.5 volts now if i increase the uh, drp value from 1 kilo ohm to 2 kilo ohm i am increasing this 1 kilo ohm to 2 kilo ohm i am getting the same 4.7 volts okay now if I am increase the value here, so here I am getting 4.7 volts only. Now I am increasing the uh, load resistance from 3 kilo ohm to 4 kilo ohm. Okay, here there is no change in the voltmeter load voltage value. Load voltage value is same. Again, if I am increasing the uh, DRP value from 4 to 5, okay, here the voltmeter value is same. Now I am increasing the load resistance value from 5 to 6, 6 to 7. If you increase the load resistance value continuously, here this load voltage is constant by keeping the supply voltage is constant here here we are taking the supply voltage is 12 volts but we are increasing the load resistance continuously okay with this up to 4.7 volts there is a changing the voltage output voltage load voltage but after 4.7 volts if you increase the load resistance continuously there is no change in the load voltage load voltage is constant if you increase the continuously the load resistance by, keep, by keeping the supply voltage is constant this regulation is called as a load regulation okay in the two regulations in the first one is a line regulation in the line regulation we are increasing the supply voltage continuously by, by keeping the load resistance is constant in that case also we got the constant voltage here we are keeping the supply voltage is constant but we are increasing the load resistance continuously in this case we are getting the output voltage is constant this regulate this both the regulations are we are conducting in the reverse bias of the g naught diode first one is a line regulation this is the load regulation this is about the load regulation in the load regulation in this load regulation if you observe the values so these are the values we got at one kilo ohm we got one value and at 2 kilo ohm we got 4.6 volts at 3 kilo ohm 4.7 volts at 4 kilo ohm 4.7 volts continuously we are getting the same values okay so if you see the characteristics if you see the characteristics of the um, this GNR diode in the forward bias up to 0 0.7 volts there is no conduction after 0 0.7 volts it starts conducting okay drastically but in the reverse bias up to 4.7 volts it, we are getting the very small current here okay after 4.7 volts okay current is increasing but the voltage is constant here we are getting the voltage is constant here voltage is constant but the current is increasing what is that voltage here here we will get 4.7 volts in the both the regulation length regulation and load regulation also we will get the same okay this is the forward bias and reverse bias characteristics of g naught diode okay this current we will find out this load current we will find out by using i is equal to v by r okay v value is 4.5 and the r value is 1 kilo ohm like this we will calculate the load current this is about the line current and load current in the both the regulations in the both the regulations the output voltage is constant okay this is about the regulations